Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous 3D sunflower granny square. This granny square could be mixed and matched with any other granny square, or you can make a whole bunch just like this. It's also part of the Bloomscape Cal 2023. The Bloomscape Cal 2023, we're making a new center for our granny square, a new flower center every month, and we're joining it together at the end of 2023 to form a glorious garden flower bloomscape blanket. This is linked up in the cards as well as a description box and comments down below. It's not too late to join us and of course you can just use these as regular granny squares as well. They're just gorgeous. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern it's available over on my website secretyarnery.com and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English just like I was sitting there right beside you. To make your 3D sunflower granny square, you will need four different colors of yarn. One for your center, one for your petals, one for your green leaves, and one whatever color you want your granny square to be. I'm using four different colors of just regular four weight worsted acrylic. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook, but you can use whatever hook size is suggested by your yarn label. You'll need a pair of scissors, a needle for sewing in your ends, and four stitch markers. So let's get started. Starting with the brown for the center, just start by making a slip knot any which way you normally do. If you'd like to start with a magic ring, you could do that instead. So put that slip knot on your hook and chain three. One, two, and three. I want to slip stitch right into that very first chain we made, right on top of our knot, right there. So just pop your hook in and get a little U-shape underneath your hook. And hold your tail along with your work. You want a little U-shape like that, and you want to hold it open with your finger and thumb, and slip stitch to form a ring. Don't let go, keep holding that open, and chain one. Go into the very center of that ring, right where you're holding it open. Six single crochets right into the center of that ring. One, two, and try to work over your tail, three, four, five, and six. Now into our very first single crochet, it is right here. This is our chain one, a little bit on an angle. Our first real single crochet is right there. You can count back from your hook. We don't count what's on our hook, but there for our first V underneath is right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six is right here. So we wanna go into that first single crochet that we made. So just pop your hook in, and we want to make one single crochet. Now grab a stitch marker, and we want to pop a stitch marker into that stitch we just made. So that marks the first single crochet of our round. Just like that. And now one more single crochet into that very same stitch. and two single crochets into each stitch all the way around. So two single crochets into each stitch. So into the next stitch, two single crochets. One, and two. Into the next stitch, two single crochets. One, and two into the next stitch, two single crochets, one and two, into the next stitch, two single crochets, 
one and two. And here is our last stitch, two single crochets into that. One and two. So then we're back to our stitch marker. That is the first stitch of our next row. So into that next stitch, one single crochet. And now we can add a stitch marker to this stitch right here. So I'm not going to be moving my stitch marker up. I'm going to be adding a stitch marker each row just so I can count my rows. But if you can recognize your rows of single crochet, you can just use one stitch marker. Now into the next stitch right here, two single crochets. So after that stitch marker, into that very next stitch, two single crochets. One and two. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. And into the next stitch, right here, two single crochets. One and two. Into the next stitch, one single crochet. And into the next stitch, two single crochets. One and two. Into the next stitch, one. And into the stitch after that, two. One and two. So for this whole row, we're going to be doing one single crochet and then two single crochets. One single crochet and then two single crochets. Alternating. So we're doing an increase every other stitch for this round. So into the next stitch, one single crochet. And the stitch after that, an increase. So two single crochets into that stitch. One into the next, and an increase into this very last stitch right here. So two single crochets into that last stitch. One and two. Now our first stitch of our next round, one single crochet. And pop a stitch marker into that stitch just under both strands of that V. One stitch marker. So now into this next stitch, one single crochet. And into the stitch after that, we're going to do an increase, so two single crochets. One. And two. So for this round, we're going to do one single crochet, two, single crochet, and then our number three is going to be an increase. So that is two single crochets into the same stitch. So as you're working your way around, you can just count one, two, increase. Increase means two single crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, increase. That's two single crochets into that stitch. One, two, increase. Increase two single crochets. One, two, and increase into that last stitch. Increase. Now into the first stitch of the next row, one single crochet. Grab a stitch marker and pop that stitch marker into that first stitch that we just made and into the very next stitch after our stitch marker, so right over here, one single crochet, one single crochet into the next stitch, 
and into the next stitch and increase. So two single crochets into that next stitch. So for this round, we're going to be counting one, two, three, and an increase. So two single crochets into that fourth stitch. So one, two, three, and increase. Increase two single crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, and increase. Two single crochets into that stitch. One, two, three, and increase into the fourth stitch. One, and two. One, two, three, and increase into our last stitch. So two single crochets into that last stitch. And now into our very first stitch of the next round where our stitch marker is, we're just going to slip stitch. So just slip stitch into that next stitch, the first stitch of the next round, and chain one. Now you can cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, and you can take your stitch markers out, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the center of our 3D Sunflower Granny Square. <music> to start our petals, we're going to be working into the front loops only. So instead of going into our full V, we're just going to be going right into that, just that first front loop. So our petals are just going to be along this one strand. We're just building them along this front loop only for this row. So pop your hook in to a front loop, just one strand of yarn on your hook. Get your petal color, your yellow loop of yarn on your hook, long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. So bring that through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, you can just hold it along the top of your work, and chain one. Wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into that very same front loop. One double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to make a pico, so just roll that chain a little bit to the side. We are looking for these back loops, these bumps or these camel bumps along the back of our chain. We just want to slide our hook right into that very first back loop or the first chain that we made. So just slide that back loop onto your hook and slip stitch to form a pico. And chain three. One, two, three. Now into the very same front loop right at the bottom there, slip stitch. Very same spot where we started, one slip stitch. Now drop your tail, we're going to have to sew that in later. We're going to skip a stitch, so we're skipping one, and into the second we're going to slip stitch. So jump right over into the second front loop, just sliding that one front loop onto your hook, and slip stitch. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into that very same front loop, one, one double crochet, Chain three, one, two, and three. Roll that chain to the side into the very first back loop, the very first chain that you made. Slip stitch to make a pico. One little slip stitch. And chain three to get back down. One, two, three. Into the very same front loop, slip stitch to finish off that petal. 
skip a stitch. So we're going to skip the next one and work into the second front loop with a slip stitch. Chain two to get your height, one and two. Wrap your yarn, one double crochet into that very same front loop. Chain three, one, two, three. Roll your chain to the side, looking for that very first back loop, the very first chain that we made. Slip stitch into that first back loop. Just slide it onto your hook. Slip stitch to make your pico, and chain three to get back down. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the same front loop to finish that petal. So skipping this stitch right there, working into the second one slip stitch to start your petal. Chain two to get your height, one and two. One double crochet into the same front loop. Chain three and slip stitch into that first back loop that you made, the first chain to make your pico. And chain three to get back down. One, two, three. Slip stitch into that same front loop to finish your petal. So we're going to do that into every other stitch all the way around our circle. So skipping a stitch, working into the second front loop, just sliding it onto your hook, slip stitch to start your petal, chain two to get your height, wrap your yarn, one double crochet into that same front loop, chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into that first back loop to make your pico, chain three to get back down, and slip stitch into that very same front loop to finish off that petal. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, skipping a stitch and doing a petal into the front loop of every other stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. So after your last petal, I'm going to slip stitch into the same front loop where I started my first petal, just into that front loop only, and slip stitch to join and chain one. Now just flip your work, we wanna look at the back, and we're gonna be looking for a back loop. So I'm gonna look for that back loop that is right where I am, the closest to where I am, and I'm just gonna go into that back loop and make one single crochet, one single crochet. Now fold your petals and everything all forward. We're gonna be working into the back loops for this round. These back loops right here. So they're all waiting for us, much easier to see. And now one single crochet into each of these back loops, all the way around, one single crochet into each. So now I can pause the video and keep working around. One single crochet into each back loop, all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, just count your stitches. We want to make sure we have 32 and if you need to add some, just go ahead make an extra stitch. We always want to have 32 single crochets. A slip stitch into that whole stitch, both loops, one slip stitch and chain three, one two, and three. Now into that very same stitch, but just the front loop, we're going to do our first petal. So wrap your yarn twice into that front loop of that stitch we just made, one treble crochet. Chain three for your pico. Slip stitch into that first back loop or the first chain you made slip stitch to form your pico, and chain four to get back down. One, two, three, and four. And slip stitch into the same front loop to finish that petal. 
one slip stitch. Now skip one stitch, work in to the second front loop only, and make your next petal. So that starts with a slip stitch. Chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet into that same front loop, treble crochet, chain three to start your picot, slip stitch into that first back loop to make your picot, and chain four to get back down. One, two, three, and four. And slip stitch into the same front loop to finish. So let's do another one of those together, skipping a front loop, so skipping that next stitch, working in to the second, slip stitch to start, chain three, one, two, three, wrap your yarn twice, treble crochet into that same front loop, one treble crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, and slip stitch into that first back loop of your chain to make your picot. Chain four to get back down. One, two, three, and four. Slip stitch to finish off your petal into the same front loop. So you can pause the video and keep working along. One petal into every other front loop all the way along and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you finish your last petal, we're just gonna slip stitch down into our work, just somewhere into that yellow. Just slip stitch to bring that petal down and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes our petals. Now to start our leaves, just keep an eye on where we finished our petals and flip your work over. We want to join our new yarn a little bit ahead of our last join. So just find a back loop a couple stitches ahead, grab your leaf color yarn, loop on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along your work, and chain one. So this counts as our first single crochet. And now one single crochet into each of these back loops all the way around. We still want to have our 32. So now just keep working one single crochet into each back loop. Just take your time, one single crochet into each back loop. Just keep folding those petals out of your way so you can see your back loops. So you can pause the video and keep working around one single crochet into each back loop. We should have 32. We can also adjust it when we get closer to this join. So don't stress out too much, just keep working around. 32 single crochets and I'll meet you when we get back to our join. When you get back closer to our join, you can just count your stitches to see how many you need to make in this last little space. We want to end with a total of 32 stitches. So when you have your 32 stitches, just slip stitch to join. One little slip stitch and chain three. One, two, Three. So this counts as our first double crochet and one more double crochet into that same stitch. Chain two, one, two. Now we're going to skip two stitches. So skipping one and two, working into the third right there, one single crochet. Chain two, one, two. Skipping one stitch. So I'm skipping the first stitch, working in to the second, one single crochet, chain two, skip two, one and two, into the third, we're going to do two double crochets, one and two, chain two, one and two, 
and two more double crochets into that same stitch. We're doing a little corner. One and two. Chain two, one and two, skip two, one, two, working into the third, one single crochet. Chain two, skip one, so we're just skipping one stitch, working into the second, one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, skipping one, two, into the third, we're going to do a corner, Corners, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two. So there's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two. Skip two, one, two, working into the third, one single crochet. Chain two, skip one, one single crochet. Chain two, skip two, one, two, working into the third, a corner, so two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and two more double crochets into that same stitch, one, and two, chain two, skip two, one, two, going into the third, one single crochet, chain two, one, two, skipping one, into the second, one single crochet, chain two, one, two, and into the very same stitch where we started, two double crochets, one and two. Chain two, one and two. And slip stitch to join in the top of that chain three, right there. So slip stitch to join. Two strands of that chain on the top of your hook and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the leaves. So insert your hook into any corner space, loop of your block color, whatever you're going to turn, whatever you're using for your granny square on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the top edge of your work. And chain two, one and two. So this counts as our first double crochet, but if you joined your yarn in a different way, chain three. Wrap your yarn and two more double crochets into the same space. One and two. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three, and into your corner, we're going to do a corner of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, and whenever you get to the corner with your tail, just bring that forward, bring it along your work so we can work over it. So corners, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. There is two, three, chain two, one and two, 
and three more double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. Now into each of the next three spaces along the side, three double crochets into each. You can pause the video and get those three double crochets made into each of these spaces. And now into the corner, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, and two. And three more double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Now you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each space along the side and corners of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. And I'll meet you when we get back to the corner where we started. When you get back to where you started, three double crochets into that last corner space. One, two, and three. If you're going to continue and make it larger or into the Bloomscape cowl, chain one and single crochet to the top of that chain three to join. Just right there, one single crochet to join. That leaves you right in the middle of your corner to hide your join for your next rows. Chain three, turn your work and your first single crochet right into this space. Then just keep going with that video right up there. If you are finishing off, chain two, one and two, slip stitch into the top of that chain three, one slip stitch, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this 3D sunflower granny square tutorial as much as I did. If you'd like to see more of my crochet projects and what other tutorials I have, check out that video right there and stay hooked.